Every year, in forests across America, millions of young trees are killed, cut down before ever having a chance to grow. It's time to put an end to the senseless killing. Save the environment for our children. Paid for by the war on Christmas. At this time, Station KID-TV brings you the special event of the year, a first in television history. At this very moment, KID-TV has standing by a television crew at Santa Claus Workshop. And in just a few seconds, our special correspondent, Andy Henderson, will bring you a person-to-person -person interview with Santa Claus himself direct from the North Pole, where at the moment, the temperature is 91 degrees below zero. Now KID TV takes you via Telstar, Andy Henderson at the North Pole. Hi, kids. This is Andy Henderson at the North Pole. Woo! It's cold up here. <laughs> From this spot, there's only one direction you can go, and that's south. <laughs> Living up here is pretty rough. I don't see how Santa stands it. <laughs> Since we've been here, we've eaten nothing but frozen food. At least that's the way it is by the time we get it. <laughs> and now, let's take a look-see into Santa's workshop. Hello again. Boys and girls, it's just weeks before Christmas, and Santa and his helpers are working overtime to make sure that there's enough toys for the kids all over the world. Santa's a pretty busy man, but I'm sure he'd like to say a few words to you kids. Hello, Santa. Oh, hello, son. Oh, oh, hello, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, it's Andy. You caught me at a very busy time. Well, uh, do you think you'll be ready by Christmas Eve? Well, we've never disappointed the kids yet. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, is it true that this year there's a rumor that you're going to use a rocket sled? No, sir. We're going out the good old-fashioned way with my reindeer. Rancer and Dancer and Dunder and Blitzen and Vixen and Nixon. Uh, Nixon, oh, I get, I always can't on it, I get those names mixed up, but the kids know their names. <laughs> Santa, there you are. We have so much to do, and you stand here dawdling, talking to this visitor. Mr. Anderson, this is Mrs. Claus. Uh, we're dear, we're on television. How do you do, Mr. Anderson? Ma'am? Now, I want you to go and finish painting those hobby horses. Television? Did you say we're on television? Oh, oh dear! Oh, why didn't you tell me? Oh, my hair's a mess. <laughs> Hello there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, come along, Mr. Anderson, and I'll show you some of the new toys we're turning out. How's it going, Winky? Everything is a-okay, Santa. Good man. <laughs> Winky is in charge of our space department. Ah. Oh, uh, now here, here is the latest toy rocket. It runs on real rocket fuel. Really? Mm. I've been wondering, what is this strange little creature over here? Oh, uh, Winky made that. That's his idea of a Martian. A Martian? <laughs> Wowie, wow, I'd hate to meet a creature like that on a dark night. <laughs> I wonder if there really are people on Mars. Well, who knows? Well, if there are, I hope they have someone like you up there, Santa, to bring joy and good cheer to all the Martian children. Oh, Mr. Anders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, keep going, Winky. Christmas Eve is coming soon. Now, Mr. Anderson, I want to show you some more things. Drop off. Drapo, you lazy good-for-nothing, where are you? Drapo. Drapo, wake up! Wake up! Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Oh, I'm sorry, Chief Keemar, sir. Droppo, 
You are the laziest man on Mars. Why are you sleeping during working hours? I wasn't sleeping, Chief. It's just that I haven't been able to sleep these last few nights. I forgot how. So I was just practicing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suggest you practice doing your work. Where's Lady Moma? Oh, she went to the food pill center to get some new food pills. The children haven't been eating well. No appetite at all. Well, it's no wonder. They sit in front of the video set all day watching those ridiculous Earth programs. It confuses them. Where are they? Oh, then they're watching Earth programs. Say, Santa, what have we here? These are new dolls. Now, this little doll walks, talks, cries, and she even sings. Almost like a real, live little girl. That she is, sir. That she is. All she needs is tender, loving care. Grandma, what is a doll? I don't know, Grandma. What is tender, loving care? I don't know either. Grandma, Grandma. I told you not to watch those silly Earth programs. Now go to sleep. Must we go to sleep now, Father? I want to see Santa Claus some more. I want to see more toys. No, go to sleep. You're keeping busy. Oh, I've been working very hard, Lady Mobar. I've been vacuuming the room. Good. Is the master here? Oh, he's in there. And Kimar is very angry, too. Kimar, I bought some new food pills. I hope the children will eat these. We have hamburger, buttered asparagus, mashed potatoes, and a special treat for them. Chocolate layer cake pills. Mobar, I'm worried about our children. So am I. They've hardly eaten a thing in three days. It goes deeper than that. They're behaving strangely. They appear to be troubled. They don't care to sleep. I had to use the sleep spray on them again. I mentioned this to my council chiefs today, and I learned it's the same with children all around the planet in every district. Something is happening to the children of Mars. Kemar, as leader of the Martians, you must do something about it. I know. But what? Why don't you go to the forest and see Chochum, the Ancient One? He'll know what to do. He's never failed you. You speak wisely. I will go. Attention, Council Chiefs. Please report. Lomas reporting. Rignar reporting. Argo here. Voldar? Voldar, please report. Voldar reporting. Gentlemen of the Council, we will meet immediately at Chochum's chair in Thunder Forest. What's wrong now, Kima? I don't know, Voldar. But I mean to find out. Christmas. According to the National Retail Federation, it costs Americans $465 billion per year. Who really profits from this holiday? And who pays the price? Paid for by the war on Christmas. Attention all children between the ages of three and nine. Santa Claus doesn't exist. Paid for by the war on Christmas. Has your employer, neighbor, or teacher wished you a Merry Christmas? If so, you may be entitled to damages. Call the law offices of Bernstein and Schwartz. We're fighting to keep your holiday season happy. 
paid for by the War on Christmas. The War on Christmas is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. when Kemar arrives. We are probably going to seek the advice of Trojan. What does Kemar think we are? A kindergarten class? Can't we make our own decisions? Must we always come crawling to that doddering old man? Chochem is 800 years old. You can't dismiss the wisdom of centuries. I can. Gentlemen, thank you for coming. Chochem? Chochem, are you here? Ancient one of Mars, I call upon you. Chochem, it is I, Kima, and the council chiefs. We need you, Chochem. We need your advice, Chochem. Something is wrong with our children. They eat not, they sleep not. Their only interest is watching meaningless Earth programs on the video. What time of year is it now? It is the middle of September. No, no, not here. I mean on Earth. Ah, yes. It is early December on Earth. Close to the time of the Christmas. That explains it. What is a Christmas? It is an occasion for great joy and peace on the planet Earth. And for children, it is also a time of anticipation as they await the arrival of Santa Claus and his gifts. Bah! What nonsense! What has this to do with our children, Ancient One? We have no children on Mars. They have children's bodies, but with adult minds. They do not have a childhood. I see this coming for centuries. They are born. Our electronic teaching machines are attached to their brains while they are in their cradles. Information is fed into their minds in a constant stream. And by the time they can walk, they are adults. They've never played. They've never learned to have fun. And now, now they are rebelling. What do you advise? The children must be allowed to be children again. They must learn to play. They must learn what it means to have fun. We need a Santa Claus on Mars.
Santa Claus on Mars? Will we get a Santa Claus? There's only one Santa Claus, and he's an Earth. <laughs> well, I guess that takes care of that. Didn't I tell you it was a foolish idea to seek advice from that old man? This is a serious matter, Voldar. And desperate problems require desperate deeds. Earth has had Santa Claus long enough. We will bring him to Mars. I'm against it. Our children are fine the way they are. I don't want any Santa Claus bringing them toys and games. They'll start playing and laughing and running underfoot. They'll become a nuisance. I've made my decision. We leave for Earth tonight. Brigner, Lomas, prepare spaceship number one. Every year, millions of parents lie to their children about Santa Claus. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? So help you God. Paid for by the war on Christmas. The pressure, the requests, the expectations, the commitments, the decisions. How are you supposed to do it all? How are you supposed to pay for it all? How are you supposed to make them all happy? Maybe this year, give yourself a gift. Christmas is closed for business. Paid for by the War on Christmas. The War on Christmas is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Thanks, your tax dollars. projected Earth orbit. Fire! Portside rockets number one and number two. Portside rockets number one and number two. Fire! Now to find Santa Claus. Turn on your magnoscope to third power. We're over a city of some kind. So that's what the Earth people call a city, eh? How primitive. Look at all those buildings above ground. Why, we could destroy that city with one blast of our curé. We've not come here to destroy anyone. Our only purpose is to bring Santa Claus back to Mars. Turn to fifth power. Let's see if we can locate Santa Claus. He wears a red suit, trimmed with white fur, and he has a long white beard. But there are millions of people down there. It's like looking for a speck of space dust in a comic's tail. Wait a minute. I see him. I see Santa Claus. I see him too. He's standing on the corner ringing a bell. No, he's not. He's standing near the entrance of a large building next to a large black kettle. He's standing on the corner, Kima. He's... Wait a minute. I see another one. Well, there are hundreds of Santa Clauses down there. I'm going to bring them all back with us to Mars? Just one. And with so many, they won't miss one. Prepare for landing on next orbit. We interrupt our program with a special bulletin. An unidentified object has been spotted in orbit around the Earth. The Soviet Union denies it has launched any new space satellites. Our radar stations are tracking the spaceship, or whatever it is. The U.S. Air Force has alerted all defense commands and retaliatory units. Stay tuned for further bulletin.
bouncing off our ship. Well, it certainly took them long enough. Hold on. Turn on the radar shield. This functioning of radar shield. Bring that. Check the radar box. Radar shield functioning. What was wrong, Rigner? A slight case of Drabo. Oh, hi, Chief. What are you doing here, Drabo? Oh, 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 well, Chief, I'm on the launching pad so I can say goodbye to you, and I remembered. I've never been there, so I thought I wanted to... Well, I may leave you there in place of Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. Now get below. I'll deal with you later. Drabo, get below quickly. Yes, yes, Chief. I'm sorry. Prepare to land. We'll set down in that field near the lake. Rocket silencer is set. Rotor rockets number one and two, fire. All this trouble over a fat little man in a red suit. Here is another UFO bulletin. The Defense Department has just announced that the unidentified flying object has suddenly disappeared from our radar screen. They believe the object has either disintegrated in space or it may be a spaceship from some other planet which has the ability to nullify our radar beams. <coughs> crew, this is Kimar. When we've landed, Rigna, Voldar, and I will lead the ship to investigate. Hargo, Lomas, and Droppo will stay on board on constant alert for immediate blast-off. It's the same problem every year. You work and work and that stubborn holiday weight just won't come off. What if there was no holiday? Pay for it by the war on Christmas. Every year, thousands of homes are burned down due to Christmas tree fires. Isn't it time to protect our children from Christmas trees? Paid for it by the war on Christmas. Jesus was Jewish. He never became a Christian. Think about that. Paid for by the war on Christmas. The Defense Department believes that the object spotted on our radar screens might have been nothing more than a meteor which burned up when it entered our atmosphere. Professor Werner von Green, our leading space expert, is still convinced it was a Martian spaceship. Stay tuned for further bullets. Billy, what does a Martian look like? I don't know. Nobody's ever seen one. I don't believe there are any Martians. You don't, huh? What would you do if a Martian walked right up behind you? I scream. <coughs> oh, stop now. Betty, I'm trying to sleep. I see a Martian. Boy, you and your imagination. Come on, let's 
go home. Who, who are you? We're from Mars. Don't be afraid. We have children just like you on Mars. What are those funny things sticking out of your head? Those are our antenna. Are you a television set? Shh. <laughs> Stupid question. Is this what you want to do to our children on Mars? Turn them into nincompoops like these? Hold your tongue, Boldar. What's your name, little boy? Billy. Billy Foster, sir. And this is my sister, Betty. Well, perhaps you can help us, Billy. We're looking for one of your Santa Clauses. There's only one Santa Claus. We've seen many of them in your cities. Oh, those are his helpers. There's only one real Santa Claus, and he's in his workshop up at the North Pole. That's what we came here to find out. Let's go. Come on, you two. Let me go. Where are you taking us? Leave them alone, Volda. What? And leave them here to inform the authorities? He's right, Kimar. We better take them along with us to the North Pole. Very well. Come along. This morning, two children disappeared mysteriously from the vicinity of Welch Lake. The police have found no clues, and it seems as though Billy and Betty Foster have simply vanished into thin air. This appears to be a day when everything is vanishing into thin air. While local police are continuing their search for the missing children, the armed forces are continuing their search for the mysterious object from space. Billy and Betty. Nobody's here. Come on in. Wally! Now, I'm not supposed to bring you here. The chief's going to be awful mad if he finds us. Boy, wait till the kids at home find I was in a real Martian spaceship. Now, no, don't touch anything. Now, here. That's the anti-gravity generator. And these are the retro rockets. Does this light up? Only when radar waves are bouncing off our ship. Then we put up this radar screen, then nobody can find us in space. Boy, that's <laughs> pretty sharp. Yeah. What's this, Joppo? Oh, that's the elevator signal. That light starts flashing when somebody's coming up from the navigation deck. Oh, oh, oh. oh. In the radar box, Droppo? No, sir. As a matter of fact, I was just looking in there to remind myself never to hide in there again. <laughs> I bet. Approaching North Pole. I can see Santa Claus workshop. I prepare for landing. Pago, set the rocket silences. Grabo, sir, you stay aboard and guard those children. They must not leave the ship now. Now or ever. What do you mean, Polda? If we take them with us to Mars, Santa's disappearance will remain a mystery. No one on Earth will ever know that Santa Claus was kidnapped by Martians. Perhaps you're right. Grabo. Yes, sir. Get back to those children and don't let them out of your sight. Understand? Yes, sir, I understand. I'll, I'll keep an eye. We've landed. Secure the ship. Lomas, you remain on guard and have the ship ready for immediate blast off. Rigna, Hargo, Voldar, you'll accompany me. Come, we'll activate Torg. Torg? To capture a roly-poly little man like Santa Claus? We don't need Torg. We won't take any chances. Come. Nothing can stop Torg. Oh. 
Last year, over 300 children were abused by Santa Claus. Protect your family from this dangerous predator. On December 24th, seal chimneys, windows, and doors. Don't leave out food or beverages. Paid for by the war on Christmas. Please don't make me freeze this year. I wasn't meant to pull a sleigh. My hooves are brittle and cracked. I am starving. Help me. Paid for by the War on Christmas. The War on Christmas is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Thanks, your tax dollars. any mistakes. Argo, you cover the rear of the workshop. Rigna, Holdar, cover the front entrance. I'll direct Torgs. Holdar isn't here. Rigna, go up and tell Voldar. Voldar, this is another one of your delaying tactics. You've been opposing me at every turn. Now I'm warning you, change your attitude. You finished, Chief? Yes, I am, and you will be too if you're not careful. Oh, but I am careful, Chief. So careful that I looked in at the children before I left the ship. You stay away from those children. That'll be easy to do. They've escaped. Voldar, if this is your idea of a joke... Ask Droppo. They overheard our plans. At this very moment, they're on their way to Santa Claus to warn him. It's true, Kima. They're footprints. We must stop them. Those children mustn't reach Santa Claus. Follow them. I'll put Torg on the trail. Torg, come out of the spaceship. Torg, come out of the spaceship.
run away? I don't know. Control so he will obey only me. Release him, Thorn. You were very lucky. Now don't try to escape again. You may not be so lucky next time. Argo, take them back to the ship, lock them up, and rejoin us. You won't get away with this, you, you Martian. The danger grows with every minute. Let's get Santa Claus and blast off. We'll surround the workshop and send Torg in to get Santa. Nobody is to be harmed unless they get in our way. Ah, no one is to be harmed. What has happened to the great warriors of our planet? Mars used to be the planet of war. Mark my words, Kima. Your softness will destroy us. Santa Claus, toys, games, laughing children. Well, we shall see. But for now, to your posts. Torg, follow me. Hey, Dad, are you going to let him break into your house? Let him charm your wife with presents? Let him excite your kids with toys? And when he's done, drink your milk and your cookies? Are you going to let his kind make a fool out of you? And then laugh and laugh and laugh as he rides out into the night? Or are you going to finally take a stand for what's yours? You know what to do. Paid for by the war on Christmas. They say Christmas isn't really a religious holiday. Okay, then how about we call it Thursday? Paid for by the war on Christmas. Would you allow this in your living room? Then why would you allow this? Paid for by the war on Christmas. Christmas, 
According to the National Retail Federation, it costs Americans $465 billion per year. Who really profits from this holiday? And who pays the price? Paid for by the war on Christmas. Christmas. Repeal and replace. Paid for by the war on Christmas. The War on Christmas is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Thanks, your tax dollars. Came up. I'll tell them you're here. Why over five pi r square to determine the correct orbit from Mars to Jupiter, traveling along vector A through the 17th quadrant at the power of 12 megatrons. Father, Father, we missed you. <laughs> I missed you too. Children, I brought some visitors from Earth. Will you come in, please, children? Billy and Betty, this is Bomar and Germa. Hi. There's nothing in it. What are you giving me? My hand to shake. We have another Earth person that wants to see you. They're laughing. Bomar and Gamma, too. They've never laughed before. Come. <laughs> North Carolina took bold steps to prevent trans Americans from using women's bathrooms. Their concern, any pervert could say he was trans and sneak in to cause harm. Here at the War on Christmas, we propose similar legislation banning Santa Claus from entering any home. Our concern, any pervert could say he was Santa and sneak in to cause your family harm. Paid for by the War on Christmas. Attention all children between the ages of three and nine. Santa Claus doesn't exist. Paid for by the war on Christmas. I can't believe it. That's the first time in months they've gone to sleep without the sleep spray. Santa, tomorrow we'll set up a workshop for you. It won't be exactly the same as the one you have on Earth, but I'm sure it'll serve your purpose. Good, good. Now, I'd like to get going and have the toy shop operating full blast so as I can return to Earth for Christmas. <laughs> you know, Mrs. Claus is a very good-natured woman, but... Santa I Claus, you will never return to Earth. Oh, yeah. Now you belong to Mars. Oh. Hiding in a dirty cave like a speckled Mars worm. Oh, Kima will get this all fine away. That's easy. Let's get rid of the little fat friend in the red suit. <laughs> oh, that's suicide. Santa Claus is on a constant guard. We couldn't get within 20 feet of him without being disintegrated. But I have other plans. <laughs> All right, head off immediately, okay? All right, 
Construction. Enter. What to find out? The toy shop is operating full blast. No one suspects me, so I sneaked down and took a good long look. It's nothing like the one on Earth. No one is sawing or hammering. Kim Mars built a mechanized assembly line for the old man. Toys are rolling off by the second. This planet will be flooded with toys. You know, they got one little toy. It's the cutest thing. It's just a coil spring. And it goes down steps all by itself. I was tempted to steal one. I'd like to fool around with the thing. Toys! The decay is setting in. It's even affecting you. Soon all the Martians will be blithering idiots. But we've no time to lose. We must go into action. Now, we cannot eliminate Santa Claus, but we can discredit him. Become a laughing stock throughout Mars. Come on, now listen. Careful! The workshop closes at 10 o'clock. The guards will be at Kimar's house, guarding Santa Claus. Now, this is what we'll do. See? You take the lamp through. Letters from all over Mars. Well, yours. <laughs> Two dolls. Two dolls, yes, Patty. Three baseball bats. Three baseball bats. Look at me. Santa Claus, the great toy maker. Pressing buttons. That's automation for you. Technology. Sweet. <laughs> well, that's enough for today, folks. Let's close up shut. Well, we sure did a lot today. Boy, a lot of toys came out of the race today, Santa. Pretty nice, eh? Lady Moma made it for me. Can I try it on Santa? <laughs> Don't be silly, Droppo. This would never fit you. Why, well, you have to fatten up first. <laughs> yes, well, there's another day gone, children. As they say on Earth, another day, another dollar. Well, hello, Santa. How are you feeling today? Tired? No, no, I'm not tired. But my finger is, it's been pressing buttons all day long. <laughs> well, I think I'll go in and put my finger to bed. <laughs> Here, children, here's your milk. You can play for half an hour and then you'll have to go to bed. Daddy, may we watch the Earth program? Certainly, dear, but only for half an hour. Billy? Betty? Don't you want to watch the Earth program? Oh, no, sir. We're not interested in Earth programs. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Me, too. Just a moment. Good night, Mr. Kimar. Good night, Lady Mama. Just a moment, children. Are you feeling well? Oh, we feel fine, sir. Good night. Good night. Has someone been mistreating you? Oh, no, sir. You and Lady and Mama have just been swelled to us. Good night. What could it be, Mama? They're behaving the way our children used to behave. Can't you tell, Kima? They're homesick. They miss their parents, their friends. Kima, you've got to send those children back. Impossible. Santa says I gotta fatten up. Hmm. Walton milk. Chocolate cake. Hmm. Banana split. Hmm. With whipped cream. Stars 
some things you just can't stop And drugs are like that too You pick it up, it's hard to drop And drugs are like that too A baby going through a phase A player playing in a daze You break a rule and you have to pay Will it hurt? Well, who's to say? Singing, drugs are like that, drugs are like that, drugs are like that too. A singing, drugs are like that, drugs are like that, drugs are like that. Every year, in forests across America, millions of young trees are killed, cut down before ever having a chance to grow. It's time to put an end to the senseless killing. Save the environment for our children. Paid for by the war on Christmas. They say Christmas isn't really a religious holiday. Okay, then how about we call it Thursday? Paid for by the war on Christmas. Has your employer, neighbor, or teacher wished you a Merry Christmas? If so, you may be entitled to damages. Call the law offices of Bernstein & Schwartz. We're fighting to keep your holiday season happy. Paid for by the War on Christmas. The War on Christmas is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Thanks, your tax dollars! Goodbye, Billy. Bye. Goodbye, Betty, dear. You take care of yourself. Bye. I've got something for you, Billy. Gee, thanks. Goodbye. Bye. Gee, we had fun. We're going to miss you. Do you think we'll ever meet again? I'm sure you will, children. Thank you, Santa, for bringing happiness to the children of Mars. And the Christmas spirit to all of us. Sure. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you and yours the very best of everything. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everybody! Jeff Bull Claus is here! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Oh, you forgot, wait! <laughs> oh, yes! No pillows! Look! Look, kids! No pillows! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if we hurry, we can get back in time for Christmas Eve. Yay! Shall we get going? Yay! Goodbye, dear friends.